So it's almost time for Valentine's Day. And while in my house, we normally just write that off as a Hallmark holiday. Some of you may be interested in going out for dinner. I would propose to you that maybe you should consider making a fancyish dinner at home. While it's really nice to go out to eat just for the experience alone. It's also really nice to stay at home and cook a nice meal. And I'm gonna show you today how you can cook a fancy dinner at home for you and your significant other for less than half the price that it takes to go out. We're gonna be making some homemade Caesar salad, a really delicious baked steakhouse mac and cheese. I'm also sharing how I cooked these Wagyu beef filet mignons. Delicious. We're gonna be having some wine and some dessert all coming up in today's video. So I'm cooking my steaks in the sous vide today and these Wagyu beef fillets, I get them from Thrive Market. They are so good. This is honestly the best steak that I've ever cooked at home. And if you've never sous vide anything before, is that a verb? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to share with you how we do it. So uh, I thawed these out. They were in the freezer for a while, but I took them out so that I could make this delicious meal for Adam and I. And yes, I will be sharing the price comparisons as well uh, towards the end of this video. So you can actually see what the restaurant prices are compared with what the prices for eating at home are. So I'm just going to place the fillets in a food saver bag. Most sous vide packages come with bags that you can cook the meat in. And if you've never done it before, it's basically just like cooking the meat in a hot water bath and it makes the meat really, really delicious and tender. You cook it to whatever temperature you would like and then you sear it at the end. So all I'm gonna do is just put my steaks into a bag, put it into the food saver and suck all of the uh, air out of that. That will just help the water come in contact with the meat for even cooking. And I did not season these before. I put them in the bag. You can do that if you want to, but I wanted to try seasoning them before I seared them. And definitely no worries. If you don't have a sous vide, you can sear these on the stovetop and they turn out just as great. But I put these in the hot water bath and then I turned on the sous vide. I set this to 140 degrees. That is around medium. And this will take between two and four hours to cook. And it will just hold the meat at temperature until it is time to sear them. All right, so our fillets are done. I, I pulled them out of the water because I want them to rest a little bit before I sear them. Um, this is the macaroni that I'm going to use for the mac and cheese. So this I get from Thrive Market. It is so good. It's got this like unique shape to it that's really good for making mac and cheese. I'll link the recipe down below. I'm just going to make half of the recipe since so it's just going to be for me and Adam. So I'm going to use eight ounces of this. And then I've got two tablespoons of butter in my uh, saucepan here. I'm going to add one tablespoon of flour to that. In this cup I've got um, some evaporated milk and half and half. The original recipe calls for heavy cream but I don't have any of that on hand so I'm just going to use this combination and then I've also got my pot coming to a boil here for the pasta. Okay so I added the milk. I'm just going to whisk this over uh, probably about medium heat until it comes to a simmer and thickens up a little bit and then we're going to add some seasonings and some cheese. In here I've got salt, pepper, mustard powder, and a little bit of paprika. I love getting my mustard powder. Well, I get a lot of spices actually from the market. Um, they have really good, honestly, and pretty inexpensive spices and they're always very fresh. Like sometimes when I buy dried spices in the store, they're just not, they're not that fresh, but these are always good. So, all right, I'm going to add my seasonings and then this is a mixture of, um, white cheddar cheese, sharp white cheddar cheese and Parmesan. So I'm just going to add most of that in. I'm probably going to save a little bit for top. The recipe doesn't say to, but I feel like I feel like the top of the mac, the mac and cheese needs some cheese. I'm going to make the crumb topping for the mac and cheese. So I've got two tablespoons of butter in a bowl there that I melted. And I really like these um, panko crumbs that I get from Thrive. They're like very crispy and I don't know, like they're like a larger crumb than I can find in the regular grocery store. So I'll put those in there and then some parsley and then just stir this up and set it off to the side. All right, so I drain my macaroni. I'm gonna add that to the cheese. 
And then the recipe also said to save a little bit of the pasta water just to thin the cheese sauce out a little bit. I'll do that. All right, so I also put the breadcrumbs on. I'm gonna cover this and bake it for 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes at 350. So I wanna take a quick moment and thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Specifically today, I'm going to be working with some Good Sam products. I have shared these before on my channel. All of their products are keto friendly, direct trade, organic and vegan. They're also sugar free and non GMO. And most importantly, they taste delicious. You can find their products on Thrive Market and Good Sam's products are better for you and obviously great tasting that fit your lifestyle. Like I said, they offer keto, paleo, vegan, organic, and gluten-free products. And fun fact, their CEO is a chef. Today, we're specifically going to be using their brownie mix to make a cheesecake swirled brownie. Highly recommend this recipe. It's really delicious. But as you can see, Thrive Market carries quite a large variety of their products, and I highly recommend trying their coffee as well. One other awesome thing about Good Sam is that their products are direct trade, and they also empower diversity within their company. Their team is incredibly diverse and they're actually stationed around the globe. They love to work with people from different backgrounds, cultures, and beliefs because they know it enhances their perspective of business, life, and the planet. In addition to Good Sam, obviously Thrive Market offers a huge variety of products on their site. You guys know that I order from them quite regularly. I do want to highlight also, since we're talking about uh, fancy dinners, that Thrive does offer wine now and if you like sparkling wine like I do, they have a really great selection. You can buy them in bundles and get a discount. Um, super delicious and way more convenient than trying to pick out wine at the grocery store. Personally, I love shopping on Thrive Market because they really offer incredible deals. Most of the time they have sales on all of the items I'm buying and they frequently will send you email offers for a percentage off your order or free gifts. Um, if you guys wanna try out Thrive Market, I highly, highly recommend it. You can actually join Thrive Market today to get 40% off your first order. Yes, I said 40%. <laughs> and you also get to pick out a free gift. I love buying my specialty food items on Thrive since it's it's hard for me to get some of those items around where I live. They offer free shipping of pantry items over $49. And I've also been liking to order a lot of their frozen food. And I mentioned the wine. Uh, they have a couple different membership options you can choose from. I always choose the annual option because it comes out to less than $5 a month. And in your account, you'll be able to see how much money you save. And it's totally, totally worth it, guaranteed. So I'll have a link in the description box below, but you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jen Good Sam. That's thrivemarket.com slash Jen Good Sam to get all of the Good Sam uh, goodies, I guess, <laughs> that I shared in this video. 40% off your first order, which is huge, and you also get to pick out a free gift. I'll have all the information in the description box below. Okay, so I'm gonna make some of these Good Sam brownies for dessert, but I'm gonna make a cheesecake swirled brownie so I'm gonna use this for the base. This one is just the fudgy brownie baking mix. And then I've got one of their chocolate bars here. This is the one with sea salt in it. It's highly, highly delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna chop that up and put it in there. And then I've got some eggs. This is really simple. All you need for this is melted butter and eggs. And this is keto and you can also make it vegan as well. So I've got a um, baking dish here. This is an eight by eight baking dish and I lined the bottom with parchment paper and then sprayed it also with cooking spray so that it would stick. I like to do this when I make brownies so that the brownies don't stick to the pan. Okay, so for the cheesecake topping in here, I've got one package of cream cheese, one egg, a quarter cup of sugar, and some vanilla, and I'm just gonna mix this up with my hand mixer. 
Okay, so I put the cheesecake mixture on the top of there and I swirled it around. It doesn't look very pretty, but it'll look better after it bakes. Yeah, I'm gonna stick this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, so I thought it would be good to make some homemade Caesar dressing. So I'll show you guys what I'm gonna use. I have a couple uh, fresh garlic cloves here. I've got this Tessie Mays mayo that I got from Thrive Market. We're gonna need about a cup of that. Um, anchovy paste I got from Thrive as well. Some uh, brown mustard, Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice. Uh, I wish I had fresh grated Parmesan, but I used it all for the mac and cheese and I didn't think ahead, so whoops. And then I've got some salt and pepper. Smells really good. So I'm gonna give this a taste. If it needs more salt and pepper, I'll add that. And then I'm gonna stick it in the fridge and just let it chill and let the flavors meld while I get everything ready. Okay, so to make the steak or to finish the steak, I guess, I have some of this um, black garlic salt. One of you guys sent this to me. I can't remember who it was a while back, but I did not actually season these steaks before I put them in the sous vide. So you wanna make sure you do that before you sear them on the outside. So I'm just gonna pat this in. And I've got my cast iron skillet heating up with some avocado oil. Um, I like to use avocado oil because it's able to cook at a higher temperature. And then once it's good and hot, we'll sear this on all sides. Okay, so this steak turned out so good. I highly recommend that Wagyu beef from Thrive. And here's the mac and cheese. And I always want my steak with A1, even though Adam makes fun of me. He says a good steak doesn't need A1. I realize that, but I still like it. And then I've got my Caesar salad over here. So I am going to eat, but right now we are gonna go to the price comparison. Okay, so I went to a restaurant that Adam and I usually frequent when we like to go out for a nice dinner and kind of priced some of their items similar to what we get when we normally go there and similar to what I was making for this meal. So going out, you would pay $7 each for Caesar salad. A, uh, a macaroni and cheese to share would be around $10, but it's kind of a small portion. Two six ounce filets that aren't Wagyu beef. Um, remember we cook the Wagyu beef at home. $60. Uh, I would love to get a bottle of wine when we go out. And the one that I would probably choose off of this menu would be $56, which is honestly ridiculous because that same bottle in the store is probably probably around 25 uh, and $9 for a dessert. Subtotal for that meal, $149. I always tipped at least 20%, so that would be 30 for a grand total of $179, ouch. As you can see, dinner in our Caesar salad was $10.66. Macaroni and cheese for that large pan, definitely get leftovers with that is $10.82. Two of the six ounce fillets from Thrive are $33.98. Bottle of wine from Thrive, $17.99. And dessert came out to $12.96, although you get a ton of leftovers. We're going to have brownies for days. Our soap total is $86.41. And since we don't have to tip, that's the total $86.41. I honestly think that's a really great deal for this nice of a dinner at home. Plus you can stay in your PJs, you can watch a movie, you can eat on the couch and you have all of those awesome leftovers. All right. So here are our cheesecake brownies. You can see how delicious looking they turned out. Um, if you've never tried this method of brownies before, I highly recommend it. They turn out so good. I personally think like the cheesecake layer is perfect <laughs> with the brownies. Um, and these are a bit healthier too, right? Because we use the Good Sam brownie mix from Thrive. I'll type out down below how I made the cheesecake topping for it, um, which was really, really simple. And you could even use like stevia or erythritol in the cheesecake layer if you wanted. But look at that. I'm going to show you how I'm gonna plate this up. Look how gourmet this is. Oh, that's so cute. So I just put one of the brownies on uh, a plate and I drizzled it with some chocolate sauce and I put a strawberry on the top. So stinking good. And the best part about eating dessert at home is like, you can just wait a while, right? Like you're not eating dessert right after you eat your dinner like you do in a, 
<laughs> in a restaurant. So um, you can enjoy it a little bit more without being so overstuffed. But these turned out so, so good. Highly recommend this uh, brownie method with the Good Sam brownies. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was a bit of a different one for me, but I really wanted to show you how you can cook a nice dinner at home for you and your significant other or you and your family and still have it be really nice and special, but also save a lot of money as compared to going out to eat. Let me know if you are gonna try any of these recipes and don't forget to check out Thrive Market for Good Sam products. Again, I'll have that link in the description box below for 40% off your first order plus a free gift. Thanks so much for your support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.